Hi friends, welcome to Aishu's DIY. Today we will uh, make a bracelet with uh, these peanut beads and then this uh, saucer beads. Doesn't have to be the exact same beads as long as the beads fits through your cord. You're good to go. It's a very simple bracelet and it doesn't need a lot of knots, even a lot of macrame knots. It is a macrame bracelet, I would say that for sure. But it doesn't need a lot of knots. It's a very quick bracelet, just stringing. Uh, how you would string in a bead stringing wire. That's exactly how it's going to be here. I really uh, like this peanut beads. It's from Sam Speed Box actually uh, for the February month. But I added this, uh, the saucer beads was also like that. But you can add any beads you want in your stash. You can add 6 or seed beads, you can add 8 or seed beads, even 11 or seed beads. And then you can add 5 of the roundels, whichever you have available in your stash. I'm pretty sure everybody will have roundels in their stash. So you can use all of those like 5 focal beads separated by these beads. I didn't even use any other spacer beads or any beads. This is actually a satin cord. This is 1 millimeter in thickness. And... Um, I just added this into that cord and it fitted and the peanut beads I really like you know why because it just tags on top of each other like a puzzle it's really pretty and it looks very pretty as well so I just added this and I have to add more here but uh, so you need about say 20 inches I would say so give or take um, so I'm just going to cut here I just don't want to uh, take less than uh, no actually not 20 inches I have only 15 inches that's good enough I guess like about say 45 centimeter that's that's about say right so I have this lighter so I melt the end just be careful when you're doing this you might burn your finger but it's just the right temperature that you need to touch to pull out a small needle for yourself to thread in your beads. That helps actually to thread your beads easily into this cord because these cords are soggy or, um, you know, it's like um, flexible. So you need something stiff to actually add beads to. So this helps. If not, you can actually put glue. Uh, if you're not, um, I mean... Um, comfortable enough to use a lighter you can use um, um, quick dry glue or any bead stringing glue would work and uh, put glue in the end and let it dry so that it stiffens up and then you can add beads but I really like to do this way this way is easier and also to melt at the end so I'm just figuring out how many more peanut beads I need. I need two more peanut beads this side. doesn't have to be exactly the same. It's just stringy as I said. I'm not doing anything else at all. Such a simple bracelet but yet it'll look very pretty. I'm sure about that. So here we go. And then it's about say let me measure this for you guys. It's about say five centimeters, so you can you can um, load a couple more beads here to make it five rounded, and then you can have uh, an adjustable um, knot at the end or the sliding knot, and then you can decorate that knot. Also, I have something in mind. This is a gray color. So I'm just going to use gray. You can use any color you want. I wanted to use the same color. You can contrast it. You can use when use purple. But I'm going to use this gray color to do the sliding knot. I'm not using the same um, cord as this. You can as well use that. I have no problems. But um, um, this is like about say I would take... 12 inches and this is 0.8 millimeter Chinese knotting cord it's not one mil so here we go I have this I will take my naughty do it all and set it up I need some of these beads right here that we got from the box it's just three millimeter check glass beads that's what I wanted to use to dress up the uh, sliding clasp so I'm going to take my naughty do it all and come back oh here we go 
I have set it up and I have my beads right here and then my 12 inch cord so what I'm gonna do here is um, make myself a needle at both ends first of all just like that so there we go now I shall go under both the cords and then start my Q's and P's. These are square knots. If you are not familiar with square knots or basic macrame knots, there is multiple tutorials on my channel um, demonstrating that. I also have a basic macrame knot tutorial that I will leave down the description box below. So I added the Q. The next I have to add the P. But before that, what I would do is I will add a um hold on. This is even more flatter, so I cut this at an angle to make this thin. This is okay. So now you add the crystal beads to this. Actually, I'll do one more knot. So we will finish the sliding knot. The sliding knot has two counterparts, which is a P and a Q. The way we keep this cord, this is a Q and this will be a p right so this way a sliding knot comprises of two so i'm just doing the same i just did one sliding knot one square knot sorry i'm saying sliding knot for some reason i don't know why but one square knot um i did it plain and then from the next i'm just going to go ahead and this one is not going through let's see next one hope it does otherwise my plants will go off there we go so now we have these okay now I'm going to do the Q that's why it took 12 inch otherwise 8 inch is more than enough just like that and then one plane the P will be plain you can do either P or Q that's totally up to you and then again the next knot square knot I'm going to add the beads on either side this dresses up our bracelet a little bit more I really like this you can add so many different beads that you have available you can add bicones you can add roundels you can add seed beads and whatever you have in stash just a little bit to dress it up right it looks very pretty even in the back the sliding knot looks um, gorgeous okay so you can tape this to your table you can use a clipboard however you like to do macrame with you can do it you can use a macrame board if you want to I really like the knotty do at all for this purpose Again, I will add, I will add beads and continue doing this uh, knot and stop at the comfortable stage. The thing is, uh, we already have five inches of worth of beads in our bracelet. So for a standard bracelet size, it should be seven to seven and a half inch. Uh, if you calculate that way, you need at least two inches worth of this uh, knots. So. with the beads it quickly adds up the I mean eats up the cord so that's why 12 inches an ideal thing to have and also you will have you'll quickly finish the knots as well right it's bigger so here we go as I said any beads would be nice if you are using 0.4 millimeter Chinese knotting cord uh, even 11 or seed bead would do good uh, you can add that that is that comes out really pretty I have done that for a necklace I believe and it turned out really gorgeous and it was not even a sliding knot it was a knot a square knot couple of square knots with 11 or seed beads just for decoration purposes so and one more and I'm good to go I guess let me see how long this is 
This is about say one inch, so I can go until this is over. I have finished my um, square knots. This is how much cord I have left. If you want, you can do one more, but I'm good. I'm just going to snip this off. You need to be very careful with this. Mm. And try to attach it to the side rather than on top of this because what happens is um, if you do it on top then you might glue it to the center core cords so that might be a difficulty there we go and now we have our sliding knot how pretty is this front and back both are pretty actually this is really pretty as well you can turn this up in the front as well so here this side is um, let's do some tangles so couple of peanut beads would do or you can do the saucer bead I don't want to waste the saucer bead that's the reason I'm doing the peanut beads um, because I love the saucer bead for some reason I don't know it just fascinates me I really don't want to use it at all I just want to you know have it <laughs> It's like a, it looks like a candy it was very pretty I, I can't express my feelings for that it's really pretty and we don't want this to be very long as well so three peanut beads overhand knot just make a circle and put the end through and when you are about to say tighten it up just make sure that it is it is in sync with the rest the other side and then snip this off leaving a short tail for us to melt Just be very careful when you touch this. But it's doable. See that? That's our um, cord for sliding. Now we can take it and wear this. Hold one end with your finger and pull it tight. There we go. My bracelet is done. I really like the way this turned out to be. You can also keep this in the front if you want to. But I really like it. So let me know in the comments below if you guys like it too. Um, I really don't want to, you know, um, tie a knot after all the beads. But if, if that's what you want, you can do that as well. But I really like it this way. It w I want it to be loose. It's fine. So, if you do like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification. I do upload videos couple of times a week. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.